see how phlegm works, huh? Maybe it's the food I eat. So don't smoke. But that phlegm's always there. Well, that's why I start these videos anyways. <laughs> Good rising, just at stage here. Shit, did I see that right? So, with the sun coming in at 22 degrees of Scorpio, Master Destroyer number, kill or be killed. Mars is 23, Scorpio. So in the degree theory, the 22nd degree is a Capricorn degree. It is also the degree in which Saturn and Pluto changed the world on January 12th, 2020. Um, it's also the degree of my south node. Moon's currently seven degrees Sagittarius, sextile over to Venus. Remember, sextiles are opportunities. God damn it! Yeah, I fucking know. Fucking stupid ass fucking thing. I was veering into traffic, so I couldn't finish my blow. Um, so Mercury sextile Venus, you should be able to sweet talk their pants off with big, big talk, maybe over promising. Maybe you don't have to be that serious. See, I was steering with my left leg and I was veering into the other lane. Anywho, um, so I don't know, we, we had, I do know. <clears throat> I do know, I do know. Um, look. So when we had the new moon opposite Uranus, we didn't really have a, I guess there was an earth, or there was like a volcano? Volcano or an earthquake getting down up in Iceland? I know no direct info of travesty has hit my news feed that you might think of a sun, Mars, moon, opposed Uranus might bring. Uh, I, I, I think I did hear they were evacuating that uh, the whole city or something there up in Iceland. We have seen Mar uh, the crypto market has started to drop some but nothing significant. Again, it was a new moon, so it was a seeding. So perhaps, like I said, a certain financial seeding, borrowing, investment for half a year later when there's a full moon in Scorpio. But oddly enough, also that new moon period We'll have a new moon with Uranus. And that, I think that's at the 21 degrees mark. So thus maybe passing the puck back on over to November. Um, I'm sure there's something to 
look at within this next day or so when the sun does actually conjunct Mars. I did do all the dispositing. Um, I guess with a Scorpio rising and with a Scorpio rising today is definitely ruled by Venus in a sense that that's where once you connect the dots you end up at Venus oh and she's in harmony with Mercury Yeah, definitely a great time to uh, get out and chat. All right, start that out. Shine your light bright. <laughs>